Pastor Trudy and I want to welcome you to a family fireside chat. Uh, we ha have done this uh, in the past, but we've never done it this way before. And it's, uh, it's something new for us, and we uh, appreciate the, the technology that gives us the opportunity to be together uh, at the same time, even though we're in separate places. And so I want to welcome you to our Christmas Sunday uh, time together. And, or our side family chat, and uh, want to just uh, begin with a word uh, of prayer uh, after I say Merry Christmas. Uh, it's been uh, been an interesting year, but I, I pray that uh, that the Lord has blessed your home and that uh, you uh, are full and uh, from from good food, and you've enjoyed a a, a day of uh, of family. And so with that in mind, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, we thank you for what has been in the past and how you have brought us and our families safely to this moment. And we look forward to what will be as you carry us into the new year. We especially want to thank you for all those who have helped uh, others uh, throughout this past year. Our, our doctors, our nurses, uh, our uh, police officers, and, uh, and our EMT and the ambulance uh, folks. Uh, just thank you for what they have done. And, and we pray to, during this uh, season that they have uh, found the hope that we have in, in Jesus. Now, Lord, uh, be with us as we hear a story about Jesus and a poor little girl from Mexico. In Jesus' name we have gathered, in Jesus' name we have celebrated, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So this morning, uh, Pastor Trudy is going to, to read the story about the poinsettia, and this comes from uh, our brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, it's a story that comes from uh, our, our brothers and sisters in Christ from Mexico. And so, Pastor Trudy, uh, glad to be doing this with you. It is such a blessing. And, uh, and so, share the story of the porn setting. Okay. And Pastor Tom, you get comfortable. We just don't go to sleep. <laughs> Everybody uh, out there, get comfortable. Children, adults, children that are adults, uh, get around the, the uh, TV and listen, your computer, whatever, and let's all listen to this wonderful story together. Lucida lived in a small village high in the mountains of Mexico with her mama and her papa and her younger brother and sister Paco and Lupe. Papa worked in the fields with their burro Pepito Every evening, Lucida fed Pepito and gave him fresh water and filled his stall with, his, with clean straw. At home, Lucida helped Mama clean their casito, that's their little house, and powdered out the tortillas for their meals. She took care of Paco and Lupe, and every evening they went to the shrine of the Virgin of Guadalupe near the front gate to see if fresh came and candles were needed there. But every day was not work. On the Sundays, the family went to San Gabriel in the square where uh, Padre Alvarez said the Mass. And all through the years, there were fiestas and holy days, which always began with a procession that would wound through the village and ended in San Gabriel. One day close to Christmas, La Navidad. Padre Alvarez came to their casita. Ah, Senor Martinez, buenos dias, good day, Padre Alvarez said. I'm here to ask you about the blanket which covers the figure of baby Jesus in the Christian and Christmas processional. We have used the same one for many years, but it's, it's almost worn out. Because of your weaving is so fine, I have come to ask you if you would make a new one. Mi padre, Lucy, Sita said, I will be honored, and Lucida will help. 
On Saturday, Lucida and Mama went to the market to buy the wool for the blanket. They chose the finest yarn that they could find. At home, Lucita helped Mama dye the wool the colors of the rainbow. Those colors were shining throughout the church. And Papa said that as he watched Lucita and Mama string the yarn on the loom. As Christmas drew closer, everyone in the village was busy. All the mamas were making gifts to place at the manger of baby Jesus in the church. The papas worked together putting up the manger scene at San Gabriel. Lucida and the other children went to the church for singing practice for the Christmas Eve procession where everyone would walk to San Gabriel, singing and carrying candles. Once inside, Padre Alvarez would lay the figure of the baby Jesus in the manger, and the villagers would go up and place their gifts around it. Our gift will be the blanket for the baby Jesus. Lucita was telling this to her friends. I am helping Mama weave it. One afternoon, a few days before Christmas Eve, Lucita and the children were singing in the church when Senora Gomez came hurrying in. Lucita, you must come home. Your mama is sick and your papa is taking her down to the town to see the doctor. You must take care of your brother and sister until papa returns tonight. Lucida was frightened. Mama had never been sick before. When she got home, Paco and Lupe were crying. They were frightened too. Lucida tried to comfort them. She made some food and sat down to wait for Papa. That evening, Papa came in looking tired and worried. He drew Lucida close and said, Lucida, mi niña, your mama is ill. Your Aunt Tia Carmen will take care of Mama until she is well. But I must go back and stay with Mama until I can bring her home. But it won't be until Christmas. Senora Gomez will take care of you and Paco and Lupe when I'm gone. She will come for you tomorrow. The next afternoon, Lucida overheard the two women talking. Lucida's mama is ill. She won't be able to finish the blanket for the procession. Isn't that a shame? See, the other woman said, we are all so disappointed. Padre Alvarez will have to use the old, worn-out one. When Lucida went home to feed Pepito and get clothes for Paco Lupe and herself, she looked at the unfinished blanket on the room. Perhaps I can finish it, she thought. But when she sat down and tried to weave, the yarn got tangled. The more she tried to untangle it, the worse it got. It's no use. She could never finish it by herself. She took the unfinished blanket to Senora Gomez. Oh, Lucita, it's so tangled. There isn't time for me to fix it. Senora Gomez told her that tomorrow is Christmas Eve, and that's when they needed the blanket. Lucita started to cry. It was her fault. The blanket was ruined. Her family wouldn't have a gift to place at the manger of the baby Jesus. Don't worry, Lucita. We will all go to the procession together. Lucita didn't say anything, but in her heart, she felt that she had ruined Christmas. Come, Paco, come, Lupe, it's time to go to the procession. Senor called out on Christmas Eve to them. Where's Lucita? She was nowhere to be found. Lucita was hiding. From the shadows, Lucita watched everyone gather for the procession. The candles were lit, the singing began, and the villagers walked to San Gabriel, carrying a gift to place at the manger. Lucita walked along in the darkness and watched the procession go into the church followed by Padre Alvarez carrying the baby Jesus. 
Little girl, are you Lucita? An old woman stood in the shadows nearby. See, Lucita answered, wondering who she was. I have a message for you. Your mama is going to be fine. And your papa will bring her home soon. So you don't have to worry. Now, go to church and celebrate Christmas with the others. Paco and Lupe are waiting on you. I can't, Lucita told her. I don't have a gift for baby Jesus. See, Mama and I were weaving a beautiful blanket, but I just couldn't finish it. I tried, but I only tangled it up. All oh, Lucita, any gift is beautiful because it is given, the old woman told her. Whatever you give, the baby Jesus will love. You will love it because it comes from you. But what can I give now? Lucita said, looking around. A patch of tall green weeds grew in the tangle nearby. Lucita rushed over and picked the armful. Do you think these will be all right? Lucita turned to ask the old woman. But she was gone. Lucita walked into the church. It was blazing with candlelight, and the children were singing as she walked quietly down the aisle with a bundle of green weeds in her arms. What is Lucita carrying? A woman whispered. Why is she bringing weeds into the church? Another one murmured. Lucita reached the major scene. She placed the green weeds around the stable. Then she lowered her head and prayed. A hush fell over the church. Voices began to whisper. Look, look, look at the weeds. Lucida opened her eyes and looked up. Each weed was tipped with a flaming star. The manger glowed and shimmered as it lit by a hundred candles. When everyone went outside after the mass, all the clumps of green weeds throughout the town were shining with the red stars. Lucida's simple gift had indeed become beautiful. And every Christmas to this day, the red star shines on top of a green branch in Mexico. The people call the plant La Flor del Noche Buena, the flower of the holy night, the Puenza. Now we're looking around and I'm realizing we don't have any poinsettias in here. I know, we have green trees, but no poinsettias. Ah, you know, which made me remember, I know where there are some poinsettias. Where's that, Pastor Tom? Well, let's uh, let's go, you follow me, and I think we've got some friends that can help us sing a, a special song. So uh, at home, y'all get ready uh, to join us as we sing Away in a Manger. So Pastor Trudy and I have moved on over to the Community Life Building. We've joined our, our worship team. They're going to lead us in, uh, in uh, a way in a manger. But as you can see, <laughs> we didn't have any poinsettias as we told the, uh, the story, the legend of the poinsettias. We've got poinsettias here. And, uh, and so with that in mind, we invite you at home to join us in a way in a manger.
wish you a Merry Christmas and may uh, God bless you and keep you. Lord, we thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus Christ, and we celebrate his birth on this day. Amen.